It's um, 4.30 right now. In 30 minutes, we're gonna open our doors for the first time. I got $10 million riding on this. I better sell a lot of fried chicken. This is our second concept. So there was a huge pressure because gold was such a big hit. It was a lot bigger than I can ever imagine and I'm so humbled by it. Who's taking the next table? 22. But now, opening a brand new restaurant, seven years after the door opens, and it was really nerve-wracking. I think the huge risk that we're taking is I raised a bunch of money to create fried chicken restaurant. And I think a lot of my investors were like, Simon, you're nuts. But I believe in it. I believe to create something that is truly outside of box, you need investment of capital, a mind, man hours, commitment. This is not so pretty. It's not so pretty. But I'm going to make it prettier. We pour that in, and um, we're ready now. So first step is we went around eating uh, many different fried chicken. So once we get the fresh chicken every day in the morning, we lay out in the full sheet tray like this with the rack on. We dry this overnight. And then my partner and my chef, SK, basically I got him to fry chicken from 9 a.m to 7 p.m., six days a week for 14 months. We've been cooking with this chicken for about a year. I think so far butchered over a thousand chickens. We're gonna brine this into our perfect solution and we're gonna serve it tomorrow, but then we also have our chicken that's been brined from yesterday and we're gonna fry some. So as you can see over here, it's got enough brine over here and then it's very juicy. So the initial fry is pretty quick, a low temperature and it cooks slowly with longer time. It makes flash of the chicken to be super tender. After we fry two more times, it's going to be fully cooked. So we're dipping our chicken to our batter. Always drum chucks first because this is the biggest piece that we have. It takes longer time to cook. When we started cooking, we were not getting it. The very tricky part is when we drop them in different timing, but pull out everything at the same time. And there came a point where you know, I, I put Chef SK aside and said, hey chef, you know, if this fried chicken is not your thing, step out. This, we need to make it successful. So this is what we call Coco Doc. This is our name of the restaurant, Coco Doc. And of course, we stuck to it and together, you know, trial after trial, truly testing ourselves, resulted in a product that I'm truly proud of. When I first fried chicken, I thought I was good at cooking. It was pretty miserable, I would say. Think of your culinary career? So far, yes. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah? What's up? Yeah. Both of these guys, so they've been here literally frying chicken every single day. Every day you're making incremental, you know, almost unnoticeable gains. And I'm so proud of them. Our um, investor, partner, mentor, and the holy grail uh, of uh, our business, Thomas Keller is coming in. A little nervous, are you ready? Yeah. So this is our uh, chicken nugget that has been made with a lot of uh, chicken breast and we're gonna simply dry dredge it. These chicken nuggets are super badass. Chef Keller is trying this for the first time. I can't wait to see his reaction. So Breakthrough was a wet batter and it's using different type of flour so it absorbs about 50% less fat than conventional flour. To achieve the perfect golden brown color for our fried chicken, we added some spices that actually enhance the flavor and the color of the chicken. When we fry the chicken with turmeric, it makes the chicken a little bit more golden brown. So it is a secret hack for us. So we have two different batters for frying chicken. The original flavor already has special spices into the batter, but our glazed one has different spices. So as you can see, a little bit lighter in color. And there we go. How much of the secret recipe that we have do you want to share with Chef Keller? I don't think we need to share anything. <laughs> <laughs> the goal is ask him how he likes it. Thank you so much for coming. How are you? So Chef Keller, we're doing our final fry right now. And uh, it's about one minute left. Are you telling anybody what the spices are? We're going to uh, keep that secret. Keep the like, secret, Chef. Like, like, Colonel, <laughs> Absolutely like, 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 Colonel, <laughs> like Colonel Sanders. OK. So right now, we're serving Chef Keller and Simon with original fried chicken. So we have chicken nuggets, wings, thighs, and drums. I want you to start from chicken nuggets, original flavor first. This is whole breast, it's a uh, right? mixture of breast and uh, thigh. Is there any other fat that you're putting in there? Uh, just chicken skin. All very good, right? One, one thing I would maybe recommend, I'm getting some more fat in there. Okay. So it gets some gold. 
creamier. Yes, sir. And then we're gonna give you a glazed fried chicken, which has garlic soy sauce glazed uh -huh. and then cochina okay. glazed. Okay. The chicken coating itself is is less forward in, in terms of spice, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. For Americans, you have you have the condiments that are gonna add the spiciness for the guests. So he or she controls that. I think that's an important thing. Our primary focus is to make people happy. Yes, sir. That's yes. it. You've accomplished it. I'm excited. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you chef. Thank you. You got a lot of work to do right now, and then uh, right now is a crunch time. Thank you. We obsessed over every single details of fried chicken. Now with the design, we wanted to obviously make it the sexiest restaurant to house a fried chicken. So we're about three weeks out until um, we finish our construction, and we're checking in on our most important design feature. We got our um, the arch light. We just got this shipment this week, and these are the beautiful features. These are all custom made. Honestly, when I wanted a big ass arch, I had no idea how they're gonna bring it. <laughs> you know, what do I know about arches? Oh, I'm not a designer, I'm a restaurant guy. I had no idea how complex this uh, build is. So each shape is not the same. So obviously there are like tons of these shapes, but you see that there's a slight um, angle. So they all have a unique angle, each pieces. So it, it creates this uh, beautiful arch. Uh, this arch was supposed to be done uh, a few days ago, but again, like when they arrive, you realize how complex they are. You can't just be like, hey, why was it not, it not done? You know, once again, you have to pivot. And the piece at the top, uh, we had to fly that in, uh, that, that last piece, because uh, uh, it, wasn't, it wasn't fitting. So once again, like construction site is always filled with uh, action. You just gotta, just gotta be there. I want the Golden Arts because every restaurant that really creates the best value proposition and high quality should have a Golden Arch. I still haven't seen this thing turned on, so I think we can um, uh, bribe our electrician to give, uh, give us a little, little light. After two years, finally we get to see this thing light up. We hope so. I almost so. feel like a, we hope so. it's like Rockefeller Center, like a tree lighting. Like it's something we've never done before. Yeah. And there's a lot of lighting circuits in there. There's 220 pieces of glass in each arch thing. Yeah. It seems like Adib is uh, trying to uh, set my expectations low, but my expectations are always so high. Only Especially working with you. Yeah. Let's light it up, guys. Woo! I had a high expectation to have this ghost arch, but honestly, it's so much more beautiful than I ever anticipated, you know? When the vision that you had and the realization, actual reality is more beautiful than your vision itself, I think that's the true, like the driving force. And that is my, uh, what I'm most grateful for as a restaurateur. So David, you think we created the sexiest fried chicken restaurant in the world? There's no question we did that. I actually think <laughs> we created one of the sexiest yes. Yes. restaurants in general. Okay, turning on the Rolls Royce. If you go downstairs, we have amazingly newly built kitchen, and that is the size of multi Michelin star restaurant. It's like big, and that is fully dedicated in producing the best fried chicken. Yesterday, we served our friends and family, and today is the first day that we're doing a soft opening. I'm excited at the same time, I'm very stressful. And then I see that why not a lot of restaurants are not uh, doing this. <laughs> Eight in the morning, Paulino, our butcher, is starting to butcher the chicken this morning. We've been in the kitchen for four days or five days. Training our staff, it's just taking a little bit of time than what we expected. So our cooking technique and better, we changed a little bit. Our butchering technique is the same as before. Every day, at least we're getting uh, 50 chicken for the soft opening, and then when we grind it open, it's gonna be 10 Ks, which is 100 birds every day. To make this process super quick, he is breaking all the chicken into parts, and then he's even going to the detail cuts right now. So legs to thighs to drums, and then the wings to uh, flap to the drumlets. It's completely different than the test kitchen just because the volume is very different. It's connected? Yeah, it is. Yeah, this is tumbler. Purpose of this machine is brine the protein faster and efficiently. And then, blow the chamber. Here we go. Voila. So seven minutes later, chicken is properly brined. Last step of the preparing the chicken is battering and then it's before the service. So this is a special table for us, our dredging station. As you can see, we have our uh, special mix for our fried chicken. We individually dredge every single piece over here. So we have a 24-hour marinated chicken. We can put ice in here so that it stays the um, temperature super cold, so that our batter is uh, ice cold as well. 
Temperature of the batter is very important because the colder the batter, the crispier the chicken. We're about an hour away from the open. The reason that we're drizzling the chicken right now is to get ahead so that it's easier for us to fry and then put them in a the batter. So far, we've been working in this space for about like four days and a lot of things are changing and we're fine tuning everything so that we can get the perfect fried chicken. But we're still figuring out the system right now to smooth it out. All right, so I'm now a little over 2 p.m. Today's our first day of soap opening. So it's a moment of truth. Tonight is the first night where we'll actually sell food to customers. All right, Victoria, what's up? Uh, this is uh, Victoria James, my business partner. I've been working with her. How long? Well, almost a decade, Simon. So today we can announce it. We have the largest champagne list in America. So we'll have over 400 just champagne selection. And that is fried chicken restaurant. Everybody wants to do it, but nobody can do it because it's not easy. But this crazy girl, she makes it happen. So how much is that stuff? The barnacle bottle? Yeah. This is a couple thousand dollars. A couple thousand dollars. Be careful with that bottle. And I want to stop by at, at the bar. So we're getting ready for our, our cocktails. I want to taste it and see how that goes. What up? What's going on? What's cool. new? Making some drinks. We've been working on amazing cool cocktails. The drink has been a little too out there. It was a very nuanced and high touch bespoke cocktail. The goal is to make cocktails that's a little more crushable so that we can have multiple cocktails along with fried chicken. So that's been our mission. Last time we spoke about it, we, I showed you a draft of the Baricha cocktail, which is whiskey, watermelon, and coconut water. Based on the feedback, we kind of upped the watermelon and the coconut water to make it a little more approachable. And I think the important thing when you first sip a cocktail, you have to like take a big sip, and that is crushable. Thank yep. you. Yeah. That's awesome. Finally, I feel very happy with where we are right now. Uh, so I'm gonna go down to uh, the kitchen and talk to SK and see, check in on him. Here we go, how are you? Hey, 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 hey. I wanted to present our uh, trio of tartare. We have a kampachi tartare with yuzu cream and a hint of horseradish uh, tartare with chives. Both of them have chives as garnish. Right. Maybe this is, we can use um, citrus. It's delicious. Good. Spicy, yeah. soy sauce, in. that's delicious. Yeah. So we need to make the portion size smaller, maybe keep the price down as well. This is 2.5 ounces, 5 ounces of each. We can definitely like uh, take out like extra 0.5 ounce. I think that's the move. By the time five chicken arrives, sure. people are still hungry. Right now it's 4 o'clock, so we're about to start the first fry. And the second fry is going to be done by like 4.30. After we fried it, or we shake it really well, make our chicken as dry as possible to put it in the our wet batter. Right now it's ugly, right? But once we second fry, third fry, it's gonna be prettier and then it's gonna get uh, that uh, texture that we want. To make sure we take out all the excess oil, that's the color I'm looking for, and this is not so pretty. It's not so pretty, but I'm gonna make it prettier. I'm gonna show you. So many people have told me about value proposition. People are not willing to pay more for better fried chicken. And I cannot beg to differ more. If you make products so much better, people are definitely gonna pay more. You know, whether that is a Korean barbecue, whether that is a, a fried chicken. It needs to be quick, it needs to be quick. Uh, that's why we have like five line cuts and only for the frying station. Getting there, it's getting there. Almost, almost. I feel like the market is always there. Question is, are you prepared to create truly and genuinely a better product? Yeah, this is what we want. Have you tried your fried chicken yet? Not yet, thank God, not yet. The kitchen looks good. We're gonna go upstairs. Uh, it's time for our pre-chef. The first one ever. Come on, come on, let's go. Is everybody here? Yes. Yes. Good. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Cool, good night, How are you feeling tonight? So four and a half year, years in the making, finally we start to sell some food tonight. The entire reservation got scooped up in less than like seconds. It was like Taylor Swift concert, you know. People are truly excited to see what we prepare for them. Let's be hospitable. Let's enjoy each other's company. Let's enjoy uh, the first day of our customers coming, walking through that door. I'm truly grateful and honored to be embarking on this journey with you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, just Escape! Our uh, first day of soft opening. Let's crush it. Woo! Yes. So, known SK for yeah. a very, very long time, oh. and we always dreamed of opening a restaurant together as uh, SK at the head. And finally, after 15 years, I feel like it's finally here. I'll go upstairs and make people happy. You make people happy through your food, and let's have some fun. Okay, let's do it.
It's 20 minutes before service. We're going to open our doors. We're doing final fries, getting everything ready. I feel good. I'm super excited. You know, definitely nervous as well, but I'm ready. Chef Jun was a Korean Marine Corps, so he's the man that holds down the, the, the discipline and the, and the power. So how are you doing, Chef? You're doing great. If it doesn't work, make it work. Yeah, make it work. Yes. Or in Korean, we say, if you can't bite it off with your teeth, we bite it off with your gum. Yes. Ready to do this? Yeah. Let's do this. Good chef. Thank you, chef. Thank you. All right, chefs. Good luck. Good luck. Order for our two bucket. First ever uh, bucket list. Can't wait for more like 100,000. 100,000. Bucket for two, way. The reason that we have all this like uh, perforated thing over here is just because uh, I want our chicken to breathe. Can I get a scallion salad, please? Team Runner. Guys, first ever bucket list is sold. Table 52, please. So the bucket list is uh, consists with two different types of uh, sauce, uh, three different types, but tonight we're only going for two. One is the OG, which is our uh, secret spice non-glazed chicken and then followed by our soy sauce garlic glazed uh, chicken. Simon and our chef, June, is eating up yours, but I don't know which table it is. Everything better be perfect. So Team Garmo, right now you're giving me two of each oyster, two fennel, Caesar, tuna, and a Kampachi. So it's not a, a success or failure on the day one. It's actually how to make it successful by all hands on deck, adjusting and adopting, and that is the pathway to success. That's too dark. Yeah, that's very dark. I want to go to round, guys, okay? It's not like a coin toss. It's actually, we're gonna, we're gonna all lift the coin and then make sure it's the, the direction that we, we want it to go. This is our glazed soy sauce, garlic glazed fried chicken, and this will follow after the OG. Chef! What's up? How are you? Make cheese and the cake on the reel, okay? Good stuff. Yeah, the sequence was good, because yeah. you got the, the OG down, yeah. and then there was a, enough time for us to um, focus on that, yeah. and then the sauces, and yeah. then it arrived the second. That was really good. Was it like hot enough or no? Not our standard. See, I was satisfied. Yeah. Chef June was like, this yeah. is, should be hot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hot. yeah. We just took the time, so it's going to be even hotter. So, That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. Still um, D7. We're about eight days away from opening. So we got a long way to go. But ultimately, I'm extremely happy and extremely grateful for all of what all of these guys have achieved. So thank you very much, Chef. Thank let's keep, crush it. Crush it. Let's go. 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 Yay.